uh, continuing with the previous video that is pure ignorance some people think that they own the community these people are not for the community they are not selfish either and they are stupid to destroy their own sanctuary my boss always told me watch out for those people who sit in the boat and drill holes in the bottom there's nothing wrong with them it's pure ignorance one organization wants to issue national identity cards I asked them what for no reply from them their head office you know what it is for I think if there's another election of members for the Tamil government in exile only people with membership can vote <coughs> that way a bunch of people can own the name Tamil or put the name Tamil in front middle or end of this name thus fooling the Tamils they held a cabinet meeting recently what for because people have become questioning them what is going on transparency and clarity is always missing if questions you are a traitor we have to become much better people to open up and allow others to pry into us and help us grow we had to grow out of this and become world-class people in my view the function of any group of Tamils must be to work for the betterment of the community they all want to present a front that they are fighting the Sri Lankan government when you do that you gain acceptance of people but all in all we should improve the community standing in the world to fight for our rights in Sri Lanka and elsewhere had to attain acceptance by other communities the African Americans through moral standing and the Jews by economic means have attained world-class nature and world-class recognition we must do the same thing at worldclassdemo.com our mission is to encourage and empower Tamils all over the world to come together as one community to form a synergistic social economical and political high trust entity that will empower every Tamils to be a great citizen of the world and to live with self-esteem, self-respect, dignity, self-sufficiency and absolute freedom. I heard that the Tamil National Islands has begun talk with the terrorist government of Sri Lanka. I'm not happy. Now I know why the little kid in Monragla, Sri Lanka, in 1971 called me a pariah. It's because we you like, like, behave like pariahs. Sorry to say that. Here is a group of harebrained people abandoning the 70 million Tamils worldwide. The United Nations, the Europeans, the Americans and the diaspora and talking with the enemy who slaughtered their kid and kin. The blood has not even dried and these losers talking with the enemy. It is the lack of depth of character in Tamils to be blamed, not the Sinhalese. When, we, when will these characterless people learn from African Americans in USA never to compromise what you think is right? Did our American brothers ever compromise what they believe to be right? Tamils must learn to stand straight even if you are alone. One should never negotiate with an unreasonable enemy. I have in my life faced situations and when I stood firm on my convictions, they respected me for what I am rather than who I am. What you are speaks louder than who you are. It is the what that we have to plant, cultivate and nurture among each one of us and among our community. There are perceived enemies and unreasonable enemies. Perceived enemy is one who will listen to reasoning and morality. Unreasonable enemy is a barbarian who does not have the moral faculty of logic not installed in his operating system. To abuse a community of people for 60 years and then unleash deadly force can be comprehended, cannot be comprehended by poorly developed minds. The plea by world leaders were not heeded. Only way this enemy will understand is through harsh methods and we have to and we have been succeeding 
and as we make progress but there are few among Tamils who derail the process and progress it is the immaturity inability etc that are the cause of the communist misery here are a few ideas that the Tamil leaders can think about number one sense of community and sense of belonging number two honesty integrity sincerity trust and responsibility three industriousness and involvement four emotional energy and intelligence five limitations and acceptance six non-aggressiveness and non-violence seven education and experience eight transparency and openness nine keeping it all together ten ability to listen and accepting all number eleven ability to stand firm and steadfast number twelve social responsibility and strong moral foundation three thirteen to be a great citizen promoting unity 14 courage and leadership training when one reads about the so-called elected leaders very few seem to have at least some substance what the world community needs are two leaders who can commit to greater welfare of the society two basic things are any society needs are prosperity and peace freedom and justice give them to the people and they will do the rest as Plato said, a society that is less governed is the best governed. By giving people time, space and freedom, we make them better citizens, more willing to coalesce, cooperate and coexist and govern themselves. I looked at the G20 finance ministers posing for a media photograph and I could not find one single empowerer but all celebrity speakers, seekers. They all want to be seen, not heard. It is an illusion. There is one leader I admire, Barack Obama, and one constitution that I love, U.S. Constitution. And it's democratic system that selects the best. The process and procedure that ensure a vibrant leader is selected. We had one in Canada call, called Pierre Elliott Trudeau. People don't need to be bailed out. They need a sense of freedom to bail themselves out of their own. What we need are not governments, empowerments. The sense of community, the importance of society, the commitment to union small laws, the conviction to stand firm on what is right are not in the minds of countries and, the, and also the United Nations organization. We saw that in Sri Lanka genocide of 40,000 innocent Tamil people millions in Sudan and in Rwanda. The media also failed in their duty. They were either bought or sold. The world has failed to produce leaders who can stand up for what is right. That is why we at World Class Temples took on to the cyberspace to penetrate the greater walls of larceny, conspiracy and the den of thieves. There are massive revolutions unfolding around the world and all these front pieces of of pawns appearing on the media screens are just the foot soldiers of an evil empire to control the people with debt and destitution. But the evil empire saw in trouble. The heads of the nations that plunder the people and drive them into debt and then dump them into destitution will have no place to go. Government has become a business with a mandate to kill for making money. Mahindra Rajapaksa is making all necessary arrangements to leave the shores of Sri Lanka on short notice. He will move his presidential secretary here to Hambantota and from there he can jump a Chinese ship to Maldives for sanctuary. The question is, where will he go from Maldives? As for Tamils, we expect our so-called Prime Minister to reach out and unite the community. He seems to move move with trepidation, sometimes elusive, sometimes aloof and mostly invisible. There's a deep division in the community among the self-proclaimed leaders and the lion has spotted the opportunity and reaching to the Tamil diaspora and slowly alluring them to their side. If we let any organization to rise without totally uniting the community, we are going we are sowing the seeds of future debacle. The so-called Prime Minister is either 
is either incapable or incompetent. He has neither captured the audience nor the spectators. He is the greatest damage to the community for the foreseeable future. That is why we at World Tablets are staying neutral and infusing the community with our insights so that they proceed cautiously. Our so-called Prime Minister and his members must stand up for what is right. Fighting for freedom is not a crime. And he has not displayed that intellect to the international community and to its leaders. It also appears that his organization does not go on to hear opposing views, like Mahindra Rajavaksa. He too believes that if you are not with us, you are against us. They believe they are absolutely right and there are no other avenues. There seems to be some parallel between him and the Sri Lankan government. Here's my take on the current situation of the Tamil community. It is frustrated that there is no unity among groups. It is simply due to the lack of leadership, training and experience. Therefore, we must embark on programs to cultivate and nurture new breed of leaders among our community. Tamils also must develop a sense of community and sense of responsibility. A man called me from North Carolina in US accusing me of something I wrote and said. He called me on my business toll free number. He was threatening me. Hey, if you want to degrade me, at least pay for the telephone call or call from your own telephone. I'm not willing to pay for my money to purchase his problems. I have crossed that bridge long time ago. My friends, if you want to call me, have the guts, bones, and the courage. I'm not the Panagote or a Dose. I am living in a free country, I know my rights and I function and the limits and I function within it. It's an advice worth following to some Tamils. Not knowing the law is not an excuse. As they say in the legal circle, due diligence is the ultimate in litigation and crime avoidance. What we need are crisp, robust and steadfast leadership grounded on absolute moral foundation. Press releases, continuous the constitutions and cabinet meetings are needed, but uniting the community under one mission is the prime task. We have not done that. To reach out and ask someone to come to our side is the easiest of human nature, but we don't do it. We don't have the courage to do it. Here is an advice for the singles. Call upon the Tamils and say, here is your Tamil Ulam. Now get out of our country. 12% of the population, therefore here is your 3,129 square miles. Take it or leave it. If I am a Sinhalese, that's what I will do. This will make them to think realistically. Tamils, you have two choices. You can have it all or you can have a piece of the pie. The choice is up to you. As I always say, 70 million Tamils worldwide unite, stay together, work hard, and never ever give up. The best is yet to come, and we are winning. My name is Subramani Maslamani. I'm a world-class Tamil, powered by convictions, commitments, and conscience. <laughs>